rejection is rampant in Hollywood or New York. Let me explain to you. You have left home and you arrived in the big city, Hollywood, and you know that in order to work you have to have an agent. So you had some pictures made at home. And you go to the Screen Actors Guild, which is the unit of the director, and they give you a list of the agents. And you mail 50, let's say you make 100 pictures to different agents. No response. Not one person answers you. Rejection. Suddenly, a couple of weeks later, one agent calls you in to see what you look like. You go in the office, you're a little bit nervous. They look at you and they say, oh, you're too tall, you're too thin, you're too heavy, you're too short. And we already have a couple of types just like you in our agency. Rejection. However, you show them your pictures because you think maybe the pictures will sell you. They look at the pictures and they say, it's too light, it's too dark, it's too retouched, it doesn't look like you. You need to have other shot rejection. You show them your resume, because you think it's very good. They look at the resume and they say, all your credits are in theater and in school. That doesn't count here, really. And you are not with the union? Well, then we can't represent you, because the people in the studio will not see anyone who is not with the union. Rejection. You do it again. You get some more names. You send some more pictures. And finally, an agent said, okay, I will try to work with you. They send you to an audition. You're a little bit nervous, but you feel excited. You read well. And the casting director said, that was fine. And you think, ah, maybe I got it. You never hear from them again. Rejection. Because you see, the casting director doesn't call your agent to tell you the agent that you didn't get it. They only call the agent if you got the job. Okay, let's say that the agent is patient with you and said, okay, I'll work with you for three months. I won't sign you, but I'll work with you for three months. And during those three months, you go to 10, 20 auditions, and you don't even get a call back. So the agent says, you know, uh, I've been trying to send you out. I'm working overtime for you, and nothing is happening. So I guess I'll give you one more chance, and if it doesn't work, then I have to drop you. Oh, pangs. Rejection. You get another audition. Lo and behold, you get it. It's a small role, but you get it. You're excited. It was wonderful filming. You, you feel like you're part of the Hollywood scene by now. And the uh, company that made the movie send you a postcard telling you when the show is going to be on. So you tell all your friends, you call your family, you say, Mommy, watch me from there. Of course, you drop 50 postcards in the mail to the casting director saying, watch me on such and such a show at such and such an hour. The show comes on, and for whatever reason, the show may have been too long, you're practically all cut out of the picture. I mean, you're just a blur on the screen rejection. Now, rejection can also come from too much acceptance. Let's say, for example, that the agent, the casting director, or producer, or writer likes you, and likes you enough to ask you to go out to dinner. Okay? That happens. What do you do? Now, you try to think it over because you think, well, if I accept, you know, I'm going to really ruin my principles. I really don't want to do that. On the other hand, you think to yourself, if I don't accept, maybe I miss the opportunity of meeting those people, getting close, and maybe getting a role. What to do? Because if you reject them, maybe they are going to reject you. This is a tough decision for you to make. However, from my talk today, you probably think, oh, she's really trying to discourage us. I am not. I'm all for you. And I will tell you that all the actors 
that you see working on a stage, in nightclubs, in television, or in film. All the actors and actresses that you see receiving Grammy Awards, Tony Awards, Emmy Awards, and Oscars have all experienced the rejection that I spoke of today, and many more. So, lesson for today, hang in there, and maybe you too will.